This is the camp for you campsite just outside Wrocław, Poland. So it's now the end of September. 28th of September. This campsite has been open now for three months. Today there's not many vans here but uh, next week it's all, it's, it, it will be full. So I'm going to take you around. I think they were very brave to do the campsite because um, I, having worked in the real estate uh, industry or uh, I was involved in real estate finance I have a um, relatively good idea of uh, what returns can be and uh, with campsites you've got to be uh, really keen to do it. Often the people are farmers and then they make a campsite out of the farmland. As one lady said to me, people seem more fun than cows. Or alternatively, it, um, as a situation like here, they did it because they were motorhomers themselves. And I, I've met a number of people who did things like that. Right, so we have a look down the campsite. As you can see, there, okay, there is a main road behind me. So that's uh, the access to Wrocław, for example. Alternatively, uh, you can also see that it's in a forest. So now the uh, noise at the moment, because I st stood next to the main road, is possibly a little bit deceiving. It's not that bad at all. It's uh, you can uh, in at night you can scarcely hear it. Um, I'm also going to point out another thing that this campsite's got, which is really good which is the internet access. I have been uploading films to YouTube since I've been here and uh, that really is um, highly unusual. I mean, you've got a, these a full HD films then uh, it takes quite a while to upload them but I've been able to do it from here. Okay, so what we've got here, we've got the administration building. You can see there's the road. Another building which is going to be uh, used for um, sort of an entertainment and uh, common room sort of thing. There you've got the dump. The chemical dump as it's new, it hasn't, uh, uh, it hasn't got dirty yet. And shower block is here. It's nine o'clock in the morning, so I'm not gonna take you inside the shower block. Oh, and there's a good reason why somebody's coming out right now. I'm gonna turn the camera around so he doesn't get embarrassed. <laughs> so anyway, you can, I'm sure you know what a shower block looks like and what a toilet looks like. Right, he's now gone in. So we've got shower block here. And another idea which they had was to put these uh, camping pods uh, sort of thing, these, these buildings here, which are um, for, um, some pe four people can actually stay in them. Now coming further down, you don't see many um, Concord Charismas in, in Poland. In fact, I think it's about the first one I've actually seen with the Polish registration. They've got a little play area down here. And beyond that is a uh, swimming pool. But this has only been open three months. Um, so we opened it in June. And um, so what, they've had July, August, September. Really, so just over three months in fact. And at the bottom, we've got here a swimming pool as well. Now, the, um, the surface, as you can tell, has it's got hard surface. There's electricity, which is included in the price. I'll put a link to the site because uh, when it comes to things like prices, you know, they, they can obviously change, uh, which... Um, so, uh, depending on the season, when you're here, and all the rest of it. 
and uh, there's the swimming pool. Very much, um, you might say, oh, it's a temporary structure, but uh, the water, uh, there's a filter and the water's quite clean. And a more long-term guest has got opted to go right to the very bottom. Now, the idea, I was talking to the owner, uh, owners yesterday, and they said uh, the following, is that they might leave this down here a bit wilder, as it is now. Obviously, the hard surface of vehicles can get in and out, but there are people, for example, for example, from the Netherlands, when they come in their tents, they want it to look a bit more wild, and that's the idea there. Alternatively, they, uh, they make, make, make a bit more hard surface here. Now, to get into the uh, Wrocław itself, which is a, um, an interesting old city, I would certainly I'd put it maybe number four position in Poland of the most interesting places. In my opinion, other people may disagree with that. Gdansk first, that will be a controversial statement. Uh, Krakow second because most people put Krakow possibly first. I put Warsaw third, that's probably more controversial. And in fourth position, I put uh, Brotswell. It's got a lovely market square, which of course I shall be filming these things. So, I've got a rear exit uh, down there. So, if you want to uh, go for walks in the woods, for example. Now, um, the next thing is, uh, how is it connected to Wrocław. So uh, there's a train, the train station. I, I mean, I walked it yesterday, but I, I didn't go through the woods as you can do. I took the main road. It's 1,800 meters uh, uh, from here. They, um, there's also a bicycle track following. There's a dike and uh, the dike is actually set back about nearly a kilometer from the river Oder. Uh, but there's a flooding, anti-flooding dike, but you can, you can sort of cycle along the top of it or walk along the top, well, walk might be quite some distance, but cycling along the top of it. Um, that way, it's about 15, 16 kilometers into the center. They also organize transport as well for those wanting to go into the uh, center. Of town, but the um, Wrocław certainly is a very interesting place to uh, to see. It's a um, very attractive uh, old town square, and um, it's the fourth most amount of bridges in Europe in Wrocław. So number one position is Venice, two is Petersburg, three is Amsterdam, and Wrocław is in fourth position. Indeed. Uh, until the 1990s, Wrocław was in third position, had more bridges than Amsterdam, but uh, seems as though they built a couple more in Amsterdam, and now Amsterdam's taken over third position. Apparently deer sometimes can be seen in the forest as well. And there, so that gives a sort of a uh, a rough idea of what where I'm staying at present. Now, um, the end of September, obviously it's very sad, it's the end of the season, and um, it's a time when um, you think, oh dear, it's gonna start getting cold now, I've gotta either move south in the van, which unfortunately is no longer, not fortu fortunately, I don't know how to put it, but it's no longer the option. My, my original idea when I started doing this was I thought I'll come to Poland in the summer and in the winter I'll be in Sicily. That seemed, that seemed a good idea at the time, but you know, for work reasons I have to stay here. I can't just clear off to Sicily any longer. So uh, that's uh, it's a little bit unfortunate in some ways, but in other ways that's the life that I have chosen. And that's the way. And you know you've got to you've got to work to pay for your van life. So um, uh, living in a van, it's not being on holiday all the time. It's still you still have to do a job of work. In my case, anyway. So uh, 
and that, that's the way it is. Particularly, you can imagine how many films I'm uploading. I'm trying to upload a film a day. I mean, that's almost a job in itself. <laughs> right, so look, if you've got any suggestions, of course, about the campsite, which is still growing. I mean, obviously these things must have cost them a fortune. You know, buy the land and then, you know, start putting things up. So, um, but if you've got ideas of what they could do, you know, then, then write them down below because they, they will see. So, um, if you found that interesting, uh, please do uh, subscribe. I, um, and um, I shall bring more campsites to you and I think I'm going to stay here another week because it's going to be a rally next week and that would be nice to, uh, to be on the rally. So that's my plan for the moment and uh, all the best from Camp For You at or in or near I should say Wrocław, Poland. <laughs>